matchless works and your awesome power. We declare in all the earth that you're holy and that you're worthy. Hey everybody, it's yours truly, Candace with Spectrum Light Radio. We're the home of colorful music for all people. Hey man, this is a wonderful time right now because I've got, we're going through our radio crossover event. Yes, East Coast meets West Coast. And I've got Pastor Jay and also Lon Delarma with me and we're gonna, I'm going to be chatting up with them. We're saluting our essential workers here mm -hmm. in the U.S. So get ready. I'm going this is going to be a journey and I'm glad you're a part of it. Um, let's uh, introduce everybody right now. Um, I've got Pastor Jay right here coming on in. Um, hey, 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 everybody. Hey, this is Pastor Jay. And like always, I got something to say. This is Pastor Jay from Anointed Radio here in the city of Las Vegas. And you can follow me at all social media platforms at Anointed Jaylon on all social media platforms. And you can be able to check out my singles, um, Jesus, You Make Me Happy, Renew My Praise, Wake Up Blessed, got many more in the works. And make sure you can also find anointed radio app where you can listen to 24-hour gospel las vegas is number one gospel station so make sure you check us out we go live every wednesday at 7 p.m this is pastor jay and uh got pat i got about to say pastor londa lawrence see i'm speaking it all you know <laughs> 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 uh, <laughs> <laughs> look at you <laughs> Man, i've got wonderful artists out of canada londa larmer with us how are you I am so good. So excited to be with you guys today. It's awesome. Awesome. I'm looking forward to our interview. Yeah, actually, let's jump into that right now. Mm -hmm. um, I want to know, uh, and I'm sure a lot of the viewers want to know, how how did you get an, introduced to the American audience? So uh, from Sharon Riley and Faith Corral, which is a Juno Award winning choir here. Um, out of Toronto, Canada, uh, they got signed to EMI first. And while I was in the choir, um, who was it, Ken Pennell, um, who was in charge at the time, he also saw me as one of the lead vocalists and basically went up, you know, decided and suggested rather that uh, he wanted a solo artist from Toronto. And he asked me and my manager if I'd like to do that. And I was like, of course, for sure. That would be awesome. Big, huge opportunity, God ordained, I believe. And um, I've never had any issues with them. Even though I'm no longer with the label, I don't have any regrets. I believe that they did a fantastic job introducing me to the American market and they did um so well that that people like you such as yourselves remember me from all the way back then which is like 20 years ago yeah so um that's fantastic i i bless god for that and i really um honor them for that and what they did for me well yeah and that was with emi right that's with, right with yeah I, re I remember um, that I was like, um weren't you in um uh, Blues Brothers 2000 and some right. of the other stuff. And, yes, yeah. <laughs> we, well, we were. We did a few movies, and I've been in groups. I was. Uh, I started um, with Youth Outreach Mass Choir. I was about between 11 and and 13, 14 while I was in that choir, and then from there went to my own girls group, which was Gospel Soul Sisters, and from there went to Sharon Rally and Faith Chorale. And while in Sharon Rally and Faith Chorale, I I started another group called Integrity. Wow. And uh, yeah, I've been singing a very long time. Long, 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 long time. <laughs> you on that. What do you, what would be your takeaway from those times, from when you were EMI to now that God was trying to show you in those times? Like, you know, this is what you need to learn out of this um, situation I put you in. Wow. What is it that the <laughs> Lord showed you through those times? Um, don't take your ministry for granted. Don't take it lightly. Um, keep your stuff in order um, and know that um, your steps are ordered. So um, while I put you here as a teaser, 
Um, there may be more coming for you, but right now I got to pull you back for a second. There's some things you got to get straight. And when the time is right, you know, I, I believe there were a lot of mercy drops. I don't know if you know that him, uh, showers of blessings. So there are a lot of mercy drops around us are falling, but I'm waiting for the shower, right? And while he's giving you the mercy drops, still wait on God to give you the shower, trust in him during the process, because it is a process. And I believe that, you know, if I had continued, um, maybe I wouldn't have been able to fulfill my obligation the way that I needed to because of the fact that, you know, I need to get married and have children and all of that. So um, just trust the process, trust the process, but still keep pushing and doing what you got to do. And, and the Lord will order your steps. So how, so I have to ask this now because yeah. You went from the label. It's way more impact um, being independent because you're doing almost everything and you're married and you have a regular you have your life to balance. How do you balance it all? And I had a job. Let's not forget that. And a nine to five job. That's right. So how did, you, how did you balance that? Listen, it's not what well, that's what I'm talking about. I think that's why God had to pull me back. Right. Because I wouldn't have been able to do all of that, although ministry still did happen even after marriage and so on here um, traveling to I went to Nigeria while I was while I was uh, engaged and so on um, still had to travel to the UK and so on so how do you manage it Lord Jesus that's the Jamaican coming out um, it takes a lot of support takes a lot of support from family. And then when it comes to the job, so I had I, I wouldn't be able to do um, tours like some full-time ministers could do where you have to be out during the week. I couldn't do that because as a Canadian minister, you can't get, I couldn't do the week stuff. All of my engagements had to be on the weekend. Mm. I couldn't do it. I couldn't do it. So that was part of the managing. Um, just having to balance, do I do this? Do I, do I leave? Um, my children got to be in school. Uh, honestly, sometimes I, I look at the Americans and I'm like, I, I want to know how you do it. <laughs> yeah. You know, we do too. You, yeah. you, you want to yeah. know how? Yeah. With, with kids and all? Yeah. You close your eyes and just go ahead and click the button <laughs> and they go. I know and that you guys do that. I know. Because, and because I, I can tell you. And let it, the chips fall where they may. Because right? God will make, make a way. You I'm going to tell you, there was, there was, it was a time I had a dollar in my bank account. And I, and I know people hear this all the time in church. But yeah. I went to the, the actual uh, mailbox and I had a whole check. And I said, I don't even know what this check for, but thank you, Jesus, because <laughs> the show was about to be behind. And I'm not saying that I got it all together, but I think here in America, we just look at the thing as if we're, why not? Right. What's mm -hmm. the worst? Yeah. And, yeah. And if, if, if I'm not, if, if I'm trusting God with it, I might as well trust it with all. Yes. I mean, with yeah. My whole situation. I still have a nine to five. But I'm still on the same boat as you. Right. But right. It's, it's mostly, and there's a lot of artists I've spoken to that's in the industry here that's stateside that have a full-time job, but mm -hmm. then they just collect all their, they kind of, plan, it's organization. Yes, yes. It's all about organization, yeah. planning, you know, yeah. for this award show, planning right. to be gone mm -hmm. for maybe a four-day weekend. So right. they can take two days out of the whole, you know, the whole week so yeah. that you can be at that conference right. and usually have them pay for you to fly out and all that. So you don't have to worry about all that. All you got to do is take your time off. That's so right. it's just making a way out of nowhere. If you don't see the change, be the change. So, right. Uh, we're getting ready to do my exceeding joy by the wonderful Londa Larman and um, I want you all to check it out here
somebody pass the collection plate <laughs> service is over my exceeding joy my exceeding. Uh-huh. <laughs> um, you you have this crisp sound that i'm i'm like in awe of. it's like and there's a freedom that comes like when you say where does that come from oh well um when it comes to the freedom um, I'm just a born worshiper. This is just yeah. what I've been called to do. I know that all believers were created to worship. I understand that. But I think that there really is a gift when it comes to, um, you know, leading people into worship, into God's presence. I believe that when you are called to that ministry, that area of ministry, you are free. You are very free to lead them. You have to be free. You can't be constrained because um, there will be a hesitation for them to follow you. So in order to be a worship leader and anointed in that manner, you have to be free. You have to know exactly what it is that you are singing about. You have to have uh, um, experienced that, that place, that secret place in your home, uh, in your private quarters, in your private time. That's something that you have to experience before you can expect anybody else to experience. You can't take them where you haven't been. That's right. And so right. that's what I, I truly believe. That's where the freedom comes from. Now, when it comes to the Chris clarity, ma'am, I, that's, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. that's your own ears because all I hear is rasp. 
Okay. <laughs> that's my favorite. That's I don't hear RAS. I hear clarity. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, so that's why I brought him in law. People are just throwing so much negativity on yourself. You're going to stop yeah. speaking against yourself, girl. You, you are wonderfully and perfectly made. Hallelujah. Look, listen, now I'm not, I don't, it's not that I don't like my RAS. I risk, I embrace my RAS. It's just that, uh, I don't. I don't necessarily hear the the clarity that you hear, but bless the Lord, bless the Lord. Amen. Your <laughs> your singing is phenomenal, and I really wanted to ask you, who who is a person that is not gospel that you inspire? That's a singer, that you, that was like a mentor. Like you listen to them, and you was just that's that's that is who you look up to. Oh boy. So when I say that I'm inspired by this person or persons, it doesn't mean that um, I try to mimic them or I feel like I sound like them. Let, let that disclaimer just be there. But um, who I looked up to, I mean, who didn't look up to Whitney? Come on. I mean, yeah. <laughs> right. Who did not look up to Whitney? Um, who else would I say? Hmm. Who, who is somebody out of Canada that's your favorite? Well, I'll say in my circle, um, Patricia Shirley is number one. Mm. Uh, it comes to vocals. I mean, the girls yeah. just, I mean. Go look her up, everybody. You heard it here. <laughs> Listen, oh. Patricia Shirley. She's awesome. Oh, man. Like, seriously. I She's just <laughs> phenomenal. And um, I wish that, you know, I she's along with her. There are so many that need more exposure because we do have talented people here, like awesome singers. We really do. But she's number one for me when it comes to vocal ability, range, all of vocal placement, ad living, everything. She's fantastic. Fantastic. Well, the, since it's 730 and I promised that I, I was going to, uh, I'm doing a giveaway. Y'all, you've seen the promos. And so we're going to jump into right that now right while now. I've got people's attention. And because uh, they're coming in, they're saying hey to, to you. Um, oh. Some of my family members are stopping in to saying hi. So it's like, wow, okay. <laughs> you know, uh, they're coming in, make sure you share, like, and subscribe and sh tag some people that need to be listening to her music because it'll bless their life. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And subscribe on all these platforms. See, he's the biggest chili. That's why I brought, we, we have this connection right here. Okay. Well, let's do this. All right. So all of you that are watching right now, you're the lucky ones because I'm giving a, I'm doing a giveaway for essential workers. So any grocery store, any, um, any, any, any um, teachers, bus drivers that are watching right now, if you go to the chat uh, on your screen and type in, I want that tablet, that's all you need to do. You're going to get a free tablet courtesy of Spectrum Light Radio. So go now. Um, I'm looking at some people typing right now, so we'll see who it is. I'll give you the next five, 10 minutes. Uh, just type in, I want that tablet, or you can inbox, uh, inbox me at Spectrum Light Radio. Go Amen. now, and um, in about 15 minutes or so, I'll announce the winner. All right, y'all. Again, I want that tablet. Just type it in, and uh, I'll uh, announce the winner in a few minutes. Yeah. I but want that tablet, y'all. Go get it. Look at that. Here we are, y'all. We are anticipating a moment in time to remember. There they are. How beautiful is that? It's showing Miss Mr. Richard and Carrie Nixon some love on Miss Carrie's 80th birthday. <laughs> oh, look at that. I'm telling you, so many birthdays, but this one is special, y'all. Look at that. 80th birthday. Wow. 
Thank you. Hey, you under the house. I'm my birthday. No, you yeah, there you go. And say say something to Spectrum Light Radio for it. You're the tablet winner, so say 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 um uh, give us a shout out. Okay. Yeah, right, thank you, man. But yeah, I hope you enjoy it. Thank you to the Spectrum Light Radio. Yeah, all right. Yeah, and tell Miss Carrie we say Tillman is host. Yeah, you go. <laughs> I appreciate it. Yeah, tell Miss Carrie have Oh, there she you. is. Happy birthday. Happy birthday. Say I do. I enjoy his music as well. He's got a single out called Renew My Praise that I want to get to. And so tell us about that song. Give us a little introduction, then we'll go into it. Amen. So Renew My Praise. Renew My Praise was a prayer when the pandemic just started. Um, I wrote this song last year. Um, everything got shut down. It was an emergency shut down in Nevada everywhere. And um, no one knew it was certain. So I was in prayer time and, and I was asking God, you know, just some words to comfort. And these are the words that um, I, me, and me and God had a conversation. So Renew My Praise is me lifting up my petition to God about what's happening and um, just asking him in this, um, in this mist of time. God, bring me an overflow of faith. Please send me the strength to be, I pray. Ignite a fire within my soul. Lead me there and I will go. I submit to your will and your way. All storms run out of the pain will fade away All storms run out of rain All my tears he'll wipe away I've got my eyes on you Nothing's hard for you Keep my eyes on you Nothing is too hard for you Perfect peace in me Help me see the truth in you I need to have you near I need to have you near Ignite a fire within my soul Lead me there and I will go I submit to your will and your way All storms run out of God give me peace, God give me joy, Lord renew my strength, God give me peace, God give me joy, Lord renew my faith, God give me
song Show you my heart longs for your love Renew my praise Give me the song Show you my heart longs for your love That's Pastor Jay Pastor Jay right here. Yeah, let's give it to him. Mm-hmm. That was renew my praise. Mm-hmm. That's a good one. I like that one. Very yeah, I nice. like that one. And guess what? Go ahead and tell the people where they can find you. Oh, absolutely. So you can find me on all social media platforms um, under Londa Larman. Spelling is right there. Follow that. Facebook, Instagram, YouTube. Everybody that's watching right now, I would be so honored if you would subscribe to my YouTube channel youtube.com slash Londa Larman and uh, be blessed by all the music and videos that are there. That's that's what I want you you all to be ministered to uh, whatever situation you're going through. You surely you can find something that's going to minister to you. So I would love that. Thank you for that. So um, everybody, this is Pastor Jay, the founder of Anointed Radio. You can see me every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Pacific time on Anointed Radio. You can follow Anointed Radio at LV, like Las Vegas, LV Anointed Radio on all social media platforms. You can follow me at Anointed Jaylon, like on the screen. And you can be able to follow me on all social media platforms. You can follow me even on Clubhouse, Anointed Jaylon. And um, you can go ahead and download all my music, Renew My Praise, Wake Up Blessed, um, Jesus, you make me happy. And go to Vivo and go check out Renew My Praise mm-hmm. on YouTube. Go ahead, check it all out. And if you want to be a seed, uh, <laughs> shut up. Oh, she into my ministry of anointed radio. You could go ahead to that good old Cash App. Hello, somebody. And go Ooh, ahead. Cash app here in okay. Canada. Oh, y'all have it? I'm <laughs> sorry. So you could go ahead <laughs> and go to Cash App at dollar sign anointed radio network and go ahead and be a blessing to anointed radio and let's go ahead and, and bless see y'all got paypal spectrum like go ahead and bless i, I want y'all to just touch the room hello somebody yeah. touch the room touch and agree <laughs> that a, a, a c will come to spectrum light radio on the east coast and that you will bless her in a mighty way one last video to play and um this is londa larman's uh great god now this is a headbanger right here i want you to know Do me a favor, pick up Londa Larmer's music on all digital platforms. It's going to certainly bless your life.
And then some love and some time with Ms. Londa Larman. She's got to get out of here. Um, but thank you for joining us, uh, everybody. Find the Spectrum Light Radio on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. Uh, hey, go to Cash App, go to PayPal. Uh, if you want to sow anything into us, we certainly would appreciate it. And bless Pastor Jay. That's that's the anointed radio yet. Yeah, that's the wave yeah. of we're we're a part of the wave of the future. So thank you well, so thank much, you, Londa, for joining us. I'll see thank y'all. Bye, Miss Londa. Bye, Bye. Candy. Bye. Thank you.